It's uh, now a distinct honor and privilege to welcome to the Larry O'Connor Show the 45th president, President Donald Trump. Thank you for joining us, sir. Well, thank you very much, Larry, and I greatly appreciate the nice things you've said. I very much appreciate it. Thank I'm you. glad it got back to you. You know, I, it does. It gets back. You have a big voice. I will say that. <laughs> I, I know that today you're very excited about the launch of the Opportunity Zones, the big event that you've got. You can show some real progress here. But I, I want to take you back to that day in Detroit when you were running for president. And you said to a uh, mostly African-American crowd in a church there, what have you got to lose? What, how have the Democrats been treating you up until now? How does the Opportunity Zone initiative fit into that campaign pledge? Well, we're getting wealthy people to go in and companies to go in and spend a lot of money on uh, developing areas of this country that a lot of people haven't, they've really forgotten about. We talked about the forgotten men and women. These are areas that have been forgotten about by governments, both Republican and Democrat. And we got together with a great group of people, including Tim Scott, who's been very active from South Carolina, Senator, a great guy, and uh, came up with a plan for Opportunity Zones. And a tremendous, I tell you, the impact that we're having in such a short period of time is amazing. Wages are up by 8 percent in those areas. Uh, values are going way up for the people that have houses. And so many things are happening. But most importantly, it's jobs. We've created a tremendous number of jobs. And we're healing parts of uh, cities and usually cities, but cities and other areas that have been just decimated for many, many years. Uh, Mr. President, when you when you talk about these kind of investments that have been made before this administration and past administrations, whenever they use the term investments, it always was a euphemism for federal tax dollars being spent from Washington. These investments are very different, aren't they? Right. These are private dollars that are going in, and the people are doing it right. And there's better leadership that way. And, you know, they have something to gain. And they want to make sure that the property is uh, being built properly on time, on budget. And just so much work is being done and so many jobs are being created. You know, we're, uh, have, we have the best job numbers that we've had in the country in, fifth, in over, I guess, 51 years. And African-American, and you've heard me say this at speeches, African-American unemployment is the lowest it's ever been in history. Hispanic employment and unemployment is the lowest it's ever been in history. And you take women, you take Asian, you take any group, it's better than just about ever before. It's been an incredible thing. You know that a 2017 tax cut was, uh, before it even was passed, people were deriding it saying it was crumbs, I think. Speaker Pelosi said, now Speaker Pelosi uh, said whatever tax cuts would go to the wealthy. How important is it that these opportunity zones, these initiatives were baked into the cake of that tax cut so that those tax cuts actually go right to the people who need it? Right. One of the big things uh, in the tax cuts and the money is not only that, the extra money that people have. I mean, they're going home with thousands of dollars more money than they would have had before the tax cuts. Well, you've been reading the New York Times this week, who finally yeah. figured that out. They finally, it took them a long time. But, and it's had a big impact, a tremendous impact on why we're doing so well as a country. Our GDP is at 3 percent. We haven't hit that number in 15 years. Uh, we are uh, doing great. I mean, all over the world, we're the envy. We're the hottest country in the world economically. Can I ask you, uh, we've been covering, as you know, the, the Spygate story and all the things that happened during the 2016 campaign. And uh, there are a couple of concerns. I know that you've been talking about it quite a bit in terms of saying this should never happen again. And it's not just about a presidential candidate. It's about American citizens here. What are we doing? What's happening right now to ensure that it doesn't happen again? Well, it's, I appreciate that question because this should never happen to a president or to this country again, uh, what took place. And You'll see a lot of uh, very strong things come out tomorrow. Attorney General Barr is going to be giving a press conference. Uh, I, maybe I'll do one after that. We'll see. But uh, he's done. He's been a fantastic attorney general. He's grabbed it by the horn. What's happened? You've been watching yourself. I mean, what's happened is unthinkable. With Strzok and Page and Comey and uh, McCabe and all of these characters and Brennan and uh, Clapper and, uh, you know, you look at what Comey did as the director of the FBI. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to our country. And uh, I think that I'm going to maybe, I hope I'm going to be able to put this down as one of my great achievements, actually. I've got to, as you know, mention all of those people in the apparatus of the Justice Department and the intelligence community. And you've been president for over two years now. You know how things operate. You know how the chain of command works. Is there any doubt in your mind that President Obama at least had knowledge of everything that was going on? Well, I'd rather save that for another interview with you and I, and I will do that. But uh, it, it's right. Do you promise that it's me that you save that interview? <laughs> Because it is, it's such a big statement to make. 
but there are those that say, uh, how is it possible? And uh, I would, uh, how is it possible that he didn't know? And I guess you have to put yourself in that category, and I can put myself in that category. I mean, we're talking about pervasive, horrible things that were happening. And it would certainly be hard to believe that he didn't know what was going on, but uh, we're going to leave that for another day. Understood. Uh, last time we spoke, by the way, you got a lot of attention that I asked you if you were going to go to any other uh, restaurants around town other than Trump Tower. Uh, I'm going to ask you one more. I know you're a football fan. Are you going to go to a Redskins game at all? It's pretty fun out at FedEx. Well, I will. And uh, actually, the owner is a uh, – he's really a good guy. He's, uh, he's been a supporter. And uh, he's, he's done a very good job. You have a good team, you got to make sure that quarterback is going to be healthy. Yeah. It's uh, really a, it's a game of quarterbacks. You, you see these teams that all of a sudden when they hit goal, they get the right quarterback. And it uh, be nice to pick a Tom Brady in the sixth round, but it doesn't happen that way. It never happened that way before. But uh, the Redskins have a very good team. They, they need the solidity of the quarterback. I mean, unfortunately, I think they had a really good quarterback who got hurt. It was devastating. Yeah. Devastating. And I, I'll ask you, is he coming back? He's, Not this season. He, it, it was that bad of an injury. Yeah. You know, it's funny because he went through uh, many seasons of football. I think he's a really underrated quarterback. It, it, it's like they always sort of had somebody standing behind him. Yeah. And he'd take uh, San Francisco, he'd take wherever he were, he'd do really well. And then they always sort of had a backup that took over. I think he's a very underrated guy. It's really too bad that he's not coming back, because I think he's a very good quarterback. Actually. President Trump, always great to speak with you, sir. We got to cover a lot of things, and we're looking forward to seeing you at a Redskins game. Well, thank you very much. I look forward. We'll go together. <laughs> it's the Larry O'Cutter Show. Yes, it is. And by, you got